Hi, I'm Coach Jade with Better at Beach, and I'm here with a group of athletes today training at St. Pete's Beach for hitting. We are working on approach and arm contact and arm swing. Time step, directional step, nice strong plant. Good, and so we wanna mark about the distance that we wanna be continuously from the net, so we're not getting crowded, so we have a full arm swing. Good, okay, now we're gonna do five pretty quickly to get the heart rate up. So now you're gonna do a forward approach five times now that you have your mark. So timing step, directional step, power plant. Yes, good arms. Really work on, on the plant as you're about to, to step, drive those arms back back and up. Yes, Travis, good. So a little bit of drift. I noticed that we're kind of landing with our chest to the net. So remember we want to go straight up and down or we need to take a little bit more step away and remark if we're landing that tight to the net. Try not to broad jump, straight up and down. Yes, you feel it? Good, that was it. Good, Juvie. Good cat. Try again, Travis without drifting, straight up and straight down. Yes, there you go. Heart rate getting back up. We love to see it. When the jacket gets unzipped, I know we're ready. So now try a few where the directional step is different. So let's go left with our directional step as if they set you wide. So timing, directional, approach. Good, cat. good. Okay, you understand that when a ball is set, you're not going to a specific spot along the net, you're going to the ball. So if I'm here, where's everyone approaching differently? So come to me, but don't land on me. Good. And you're landing it on your right shoulder. So if this person is getting set terribly over here, she has to work real hard, shuffle steps, and then approach strong. Yes. Good. And she's getting it on her right shoulder. Good. Nice. When we warm up our arms, same thing as approaches. I would do this before a tournament, but you want to frame the ball every time because we want to imagine lifting our arms up, getting max drive, max vert up, and then tracking that ball with our left hand and rotating and swinging that ball to our partner's belly button. So start with a throw. I'll take it if you want. And you're going to frame that ball, step, drive. Always step with that left, Open that thoracic torso and twist. Good. And finish your pointer finger to your partner. Nice, elbow high, wrist and elbow nice and loose and long. Good, get that shoulder nice and warm. Try to eliminate any extra movement so we don't wanna be out, we don't wanna be down, we don't wanna drop our elbow. So everything high, rotate, finish to your partner. So everybody get on your, let's say left, left leg? Yeah, get on your left leg, flamingo drill. So arms are forward, then you're gonna drive them back as you plant your right left. So here, driving up, good. So get those arms back, driving up. So as soon as they go back, they come up. Backing up, yes. So after you go back, go up. So ready, back and up. Yes, that's it. To max jump, get those hips back. So pretend there's like a kettlebell between your legs, right? You want this, this booty squeeze, kind of like a hip thrust at the end. Good, for max vert, good. So left leg, back and up. Squeeze. Yes, yes. And that's what, remember Kat, you were asking me, how do I get my vertical? How do I jump more? That, those are drills like kettlebell swings, um, any type of drill where you are squat jumping. So holding a, if you've ever done a dumbbell between your legs, really squeeze and jump at the top. Now I'm gonna break down a little bit of your mechanics and your jump. So, but to do that, I'm gonna have you guys pass and set. Pass. Get wide, plant. That was a good plant though, I don't even care. 
Good, I like the feet. Pass, a little off. Good set. Yes, cat, good approach. Pass, ooh, dropper, right here. Good, I like that you tried. And you might, if it is a fast set or a little low, you might have to shorten the arms just to get them backing up a little bit. So it might be like a little micro plant instead of a long and loose, yes. Good, kick wide, good. Nice! Where do you feel like it's hitting you? Fingers or fingers? Okay, okay. Open that hand nice and big. Plant, yes, Juby, I don't even care. I'm liking the plant. Cause your timing is gonna be off cause you're not used to doing that every time. That was good though. Good cat, wide, plant. Nice cut! That was pretty, loved it. Nice pass. Yes, Travis. Yes, Juvie, does that feel better? Like you feel like you can see that ball and go down and turn your hips? So pretty. Yeah, you're like it takes a lot out of you. <laughs> nice. Yes, Kat, I like it though. A little under it, short. Good. Yes, so one thing I wanna say is if I move you short, what do you have to do? Because I did it to Juvie too and I didn't say anything. If I move you short here, what do you need to do next? Yeah, or on the surf. Yes, you have to get back to that spot that you made so that you know the depth of your approach. So you can maintain power. So sometimes it might look like a knee down, pop out, and then stop at your point of hesitation, wait for the set, plant strong. Otherwise we're here and then we're under the ball and we're not approaching. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed something and learned something along the way. Leave questions and comments and subscribe. Why haven't you downloaded the drill book yet? It's 36 free drills. It's so easy. It, what? No, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Just download it. It's not the link. Click it, use your mouse or your fingers or whatever you're doing. Just click the link.